What's going on, everybody? Ed0626 here, and I hope you're all having a fantastic day today. So before I begin today's commentary, a little thing about the video. I'm trying to move away from doing exclusively Share Factory stuff and trying to work with other programs like the Adobe uh, Creative Suite and stuff like that. So if you have any criticisms of how I could have done a little bit better in the video, by all means, please let me know down in the comment section below because I would like to know like what I can improve on because I'm trying to move away from something that is honestly much more simpler to use and much more in, and easier for me to use from like a user standpoint and an editing standpoint and all that stuff. But, you know, I, I want to start to look a little bit more professional. So let me know what you think down in the comments section and uh, what I could do better in the future because it'll definitely help me out. Anyway, so the Battlefield 2042 beta has completed as of last week. It started about Wednesday, ended on Saturday. For some strange reason, they couldn't extend it one or two more days, which I think is kind of stupid because it's kind of... I, I think they needed a lot more playtesting and a lot more people giving feedback on it. So either way, it is what it is. And so I'm going to say this much. I, I had fun on the game. Like overall, I would say my experience was much more fun enjoyable not by a whole lot but it was much more enjoyable than the call of duty vanguard beta that i was able to get my hands on and that's just really what it comes down to like i just didn't enjoy vanguard i enjoyed 2042 slightly more but the one thing i'm noticing a lot is on social media is people are arguing about oh we're playing a months old build of the game and I say to my, I say to people, or I'm thinking to myself as I'm seeing these comments, is this like, okay, so you can't, if we can't judge a months old build of the game, what are we supposed to judge? Because odds are, yes, a lot of the stuff that we're going to be talking about today is fixed, but that still doesn't mean, like, because we, I, we can only judge off what we've played. We can't, we don't know what the fuck they've fixed. We don't know what they've added. We don't know what they've changed. So saying, oh, it's just a saying, oh, it's just a beta. It's a older build, yada yada yada. I think it's kind of dumb and it's kind of an excuse in a way because again, like we can only judge what we've played. So we're gonna have to judge everything as you know best as we possibly can, more or less. So let's start. Let's uh, let's start the let's start uh, judging the game. Soldier visibility, man, fucking sucks. It is terrible. I was so one of my one of my biggest issues as I was playing the beta was just the this, the visibility aspect of it, man. I could not distinguish friend from foe, and I think that's also because of the current class system, which I will definitely get into later in the commentary. And not just that, the icons, the soldier icons, are impossible to see. They're so small, and they don't really show up right away. That, you know, once you see somebody and their icon's not popped up, whether they're friend or foe, it doesn't matter. It's a waste of time. You know, you just, well, it's a waste of bullets, I should say, because you're going to shoot four or five bullets into this guy. And once they start, once you don't see hit markers, it's like, okay, he's a friendly. But I wish that would have been explained to me from a farther distance. Because I remember back in B Battlefield 4 where this game is more or less kind of similar to. This is the most similar game I can think of. I didn't really have trouble seeing that many teammates you know because they were pretty th their icons above their head were pretty visible and the fact that i was having issue with that in this game that worries me a lot because the white little dot really kind of blends in a lot on the map i think they should change that to a much more uh, vibrant color instead of something that'll blend into the background of the map depending on what the lighting is at that time whether it's the storms and shit either way wasn't visibility is a massive issue Speaking of visibility, I almost got fucking motion sickness playing as a gunner on any land vehicle. And I don't know, I, I guess this is a glitch or something. I, I'm sure a lot of other people had this issue. I, when you're in the gunner in any land vehicle and that shit's glitching all over the place, it's not only throwing your aim off, but because the vehicle movement is so glitchy and clunky to begin with, that on top of trying to fight the glitching of the gun back and forth, it, it, it does not really go well for a positive player experience for lack of better terms. As I had just said, I felt like I was getting motion sickness. And I, I mean, I, I don't get stuff like that. I don't experience anything like that. I felt like I was getting very sick as I was continuing to be in a gunner position when that glitch was going on. Because sometimes it would be smooth, and sometimes it wouldn't be, which is another issue that was very inconsistent. Like, it just couldn't be smooth all the time. It was just constantly busted. 
So I mentioned this earlier, the class system. So here's the problem. I'm not opposed to the specialists. I have no problem with that. I have a problem when aspects of the specialist system they've implemented now have a problem with the actual class system. And I, I feel as though medic support, assault, and engineer, and sniper, uh, not, not only weapons, but like gadgets mostly, they should not be universally used to all players. Because one thing I noticed is that no one was running ammo. Very few people were running ammo. Very few people were running any sort of health. Um, except it was, if it was the pistol, the health pistol that the uh, one specialist, I think the name was Falk. But either way, hate it. Absolutely hate it. I really don't like um, class specific. I, I, I really would prefer class specific, I should say. Uh, sorts of gadgets and shit like that because I think I'm a proponent of don't fix what was never broken and I, I was th I was really thinking about the specialist system. I'm like, I wonder how that's gonna work in practice and My worst fear was kind of recognized like a lot of people were kind of excited about it A lot of people were kind of on the fence. I was one of the people that were more on the fence And I said to myself, I'm just like this does not really offer that good of gameplay like, I don't want to have to feel like every single class I'm using, I'm like, fucking, I have, I have no choice but to run a rocket launcher, because that's literally all I did. I had the specialist specific thing, which was either like a sentry or the health pistol, the grappling hook, and then I was running a fucking rocket launcher all the time, because I was getting killed by planes and, and uh, tanks and shit like that. I'm just like, god damn, like, right here is... I would have never have gotten this kill if I was running something else. Like, I shouldn't... That was fucking epic, by the way. I thought I missed him. But, um... Either way, I shouldn't have to sacrifice a fucking slot just because I'm forced to run something, you know? Like, this is why the, I think the Battlefield 4 system was much better, where you had two gadgets to choose from, and, you know, you didn't have to worry about all the specialist stuff, you know? Like, I, I just don't understand... DICE's decision making in that because to me it feels like they're trying to be something they're not and I think that's what a lot of I agree with a lot of the community in the sense where it's like you can tell the specialist class system is trying to be something there the game is not and I, some people say oh the game needs to evolve eventually and I, I'm I'm not opposed to change it's just that when change actively starts to affect the overall meta of the game that's when I have an issue that's really when I have an issue because I can't run and be a good teammate to people that need it. You know, I can't run health. I can't be the world's greatest medic. I can't be, you know, I can't be dropping ammo in like really tight situations where we're kind of at a choke point. If it's like a, a metro type map or if it's like a operation locker type map, I'm not sure if there's any going to be any sorts of areas like that in other maps, but I know down on the D flags, there was an area like that. So like dropping ammo for people that may need it would be really fucking helpful. And I didn't see that because you have, you're forced to choose only one gadget amongst like eight or nine of them that we had in the beta. I just don't understand that way of thinking. So here's something that was a kind of annoying to me at first that I eventually figured out once I talked to somebody, the plus system. So again, another idea of don't fix what isn't broken. Like I don't hate this at all. I, I just think it's in practice, it, I thought it would be much more streamlined, I guess you can say. Because here's the thing, when I'm doing the plus system and I'm playing this on PlayStation 5 as, as you probably could imagine, I'm playing this on PlayStation 5, and I'm thinking to myself, I'm like, okay, I'm going to click the button, which is L1, and then once I hit the D-pad, it's going to move. That's not the case. And I'm looking at this for like 20 minutes, and I'm like, I, I don't understand why these... Is this glitched? Like, <laughs> is this fucking glitched? I'm not sure what's going on here. And all of a sudden, it, uh, I was talking to a friend of mine, and they're like, hey, how the fuck do you change your attachments? And they said to me, oh, you have to use the other side buttons, the triangle, square, X, and all that other stuff. And I'm just like, oh, that's really stupid. And they're like, yeah, right? I'm like, yeah, it's really dumb. <laughs> you would think it would be the D-pad because of the plus system. It looks like a plus. I don't know. I just thought that was something that I'm like, oh, that's really fucking weird, but okay. Either way, I don't mind it. 
my only problem with the plus system is some of the guns kept glitching like if you use the ak every time you would die you'd have to redo the class and someone like me that's you know was having trouble staying alive at times having to constantly change my class every time i die and respawn is a real fucking pain if I'm being 100% honest with you guys, it's a real fucking pain. So I really hope that that's fixed in, in the main game and the final version of the game where, you know, weapons, when you when you change the, the attachments, they stay with you even after you die. Having to constantly change it even lost me gunfights because I would try and switch my attachments in an area where I thought I was safe and then enemies would just pour in from nowhere. So I had no choice. Um, revive animations. Get them the fuck out of the game. I just... Be like Battlefield 4. Get me the fuck up. And get me back in the gunfight. Me trying to do an animation like in Battlefield 5. Where I gotta do this whole fucking 10 second thing to get up. Is a real pain in the nuts. Okay? I really just want to get back in the gunfight. So I don't fucking... So I can get revenge on the guy that's probably still in the area that killed me. Instead of going through a 10, 15 second animation and then still get shot because my my character was still getting up in the process. Like, get the fuck out of here with that shit, man. Get me up. Get me in the gunfight. Enough of the fucking animations like in Battlefield 5. I hated it when it was implemented then. I hate it fucking now. I really want it gone. I just want, I just want to get up. I just get me up and get in the fight. Last but not least, way too many graphical glitches, way too many graphical bugs, way too many strobe lights going off in the middle of my gunfights when I can't, when I'm being blinded by white light. I mean, that's a fucking seizure issue. I know they addressed that on Twitter earlier, but that's a fucking seizure issue, man. Whew. I, and even that, that's annoying. You see that bouncing up and down and shit? Maybe that's just how my body was, I'm not sure, but that's annoying as fuck too. Really could do without all the graphical fucking glitches going on in the game. I think that's just an optimization issue that they really need to address. Either way, that's all I got for today's video. That's just a couple of things I wrote down that pissed me off the most in this game. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Follow me on all the social media stuff you see down in the description below. And of course, uh... But subscribe to the 69 whiskey podcast we're doing a lot of good things over there as well on your favorite podcast platform we definitely would appreciate it and last but not least are you guys gonna play the battlefield 2042 game let me know see you soon